All right. Uh, the next uh, section we're going to be looking at is the first section of Chapter 9. Chapter 9, Section 1. Of course, that starts on... Oh, listen to me flip my pages here. Starts on page 576. We're going to be talking about converting links within the English system, within the metric system, from English to metric, metric to English. Uh, this first uh, little bit, you probably know most of these. 12 inches is a foot. 3 feet is a yard. 36 inches, of course, is a yard. And 5,280 feet is a mile. Now, when converting, we've got to remember a couple of things. Let, let me just show you this. I'm going to draw down here. Um, remember, all right, this... Remember that 3 over 3 is just 1. In other words, the 3's cancel out. Remember that 4 over 4 is just 1. The 4's cancel out. If I put a star over a star, they cancel out. What I'm getting to is we're going to be canceling out units. Uh, so if I end up with yards over yards, I can cancel those out. The best way to do this is to show you some examples. Let's first look at a, at a pretty simple one. Inches to feet. Convert 100 inches to feet. All right, when I do these type problems, I always start out like this. I put my 108 inches. I'm always going to put it over 1, okay? The reason is I'm multiplying fractions. So I'm going to say 108 inches over 1 times. I want inches on the bottom, feet on the top, because I'm converting two feet. You say, well, how many inches are in a foot? 12 inches are in one foot. Because they're the same thing. I'm just changing the clothes on this or changing the way it looks. Now, why did I do that? Because inches over inches will cancel out. So my inches will cancel out and my feet will be my ending unit. So if I'm multiplying fractions, I multiply 108 times 1 on the top and I get 108. 1 times 12 on the bottom, I get 12. And then my units that I'm left with are the units on the top, the feet. So 108 over 12 feet, which of course is 9 feet. We all knew that, but it's, it's nice to work and have examples handy that you understand. So let's take a look at another one. Let me change my pen out here. I don't like that little thin one. I like a bigger one. Let's look at another one. How about 13.5 feet to inches? Again, 13.5 feet. I'm going to put it over 1. 13.5 feet over 1. Then I'm going to multiply. On the bottom this time, I'm going to have feet. So how many feet are 1 inches? Or how many feet? You know, 1 foot equals 12 inches. So when I do this, I'm going to be able to cancel out the feet. So I'm just multiplying 13.5 times 12. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to pull this over here. 13.5 times 12 equals 162. So 13.5 times 12 equals 162 inches. I'm going to abbreviate that. What do I have on the bottom? 1 times 1, which is 1. So 162 over 1 is 162. 13.5 feet is equal to 162 inches. You probably knew that. Converting feet to miles. Now, in the test, I allow you to use the book and the conversion tables in the book 
because not everybody remembers all of these feet to miles. Now remember that there's 5,280 feet in one mile. All right, so let's go back here and say 12,000 feet to miles. All right, 12,000. feet to miles. All right, so I'm going to put that 12,000 feet over 1 times. Remember, I'm going to need to cancel out the feet, so I'm going to put my feet on the bottom. My conversion is 5,200. I always have to cheat back and look. 80 feet, 5,280 feet in 1 mile. So when I do this, my feet are going to cancel. Those units are going to cancel. So what am I going to have? I'm going to end up with 12,000 divided by 5,280 miles. And of course, I want to do that on my calculator. Let's pull that up. 12,000 divided by 5280. 12,000 divided by 5280 equals, I'm going to round it to two decimal places, 2.27 miles. Easy enough. 2.27 miles. The, the problem that I see students have on these is they will invert their conversions. In other words, put miles on the bottom, feet on the top. That wouldn't make sense because you would end up with feet times feet on the top, square feet over miles. So you just want to be careful on these. Now let's look at another one. Let's look at miles to yards. This one's going to take a couple of steps because if we look at what we know, we know that we can get miles to feet and feet to yards. So this is going to take a couple of steps, but we can do it all just by multiplying. So I've got 1.7 miles. I'm going to put that over 1. I'm going to multiply that. Now on the bottom, on this one, I'm going to need 1 mile is equal to what is it oh goodness one mile i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a dot on that you're just going to say brent just messed up 5280 feet but that would convert miles to feet and i want it to yards so i can just multiply again and on the bottom this time i'm going to have three feet is equal to one yard. Now look what I've canceled out. I've canceled out my miles. I've canceled out my feet. And on the top, I'm going to have 1.7 times 5280. All right, let's do that. 1.7 times 5280 equals 89.76, let's put that on the top, 89.76, divided by 3, because on the bottom I've got 1 times 1 times 3, and this is going to give it to me in yards, so I still need to say 89.76 divided by 3, let's look at that, divided by 3 equals... 29.92. So, 29.92 yards. So the question was, convert 1.7 miles to yards. We did it! It's 2,992 yards. Pretty easy. Now, I'm going to stop this video and go to another video on the metric system. I try to keep my videos short somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. That way uh, it doesn't take them so long to compile up to YouTube.